And it's like it just came natural to me when I got tall. It just came, you know, all at once. Trying to, you know, get through school, you know, try to get a degree and things, you know. And, and whatever. When I finish school, I just, you know, hope for the best. Uh, we got more maturity this year because of the seniors we got on the team and uh, we got a lot of leadership. So uh, we'll go up there with more confidence than we had last year. It's kind of scary in a way because you never imagined to be out there, you know, and being watched by a lot of, you know, greats like Radar Beck and some other guys. NBA, I, that's a goal, but we're just going to have to wait and see how it turns out at the end of this year, how things will work out for me. I'm just going to continue to work hard and, and just hoping that they'll give me a shot in the NBA. 5, 11, and 6, 8. God, we talking about a foot in about a year and a half. You know, you, can't, you just can't adjust to it right off the bat. But I was kind of, you know, growing into my, just going into it, you know, getting adjusted to my height, you know. And then as I was growing more and more each, you know, each inch, I was just, you know, getting to love basketball. I didn't like basketball at first, but the game was just kind of growing on to me from my sisters, you know. But... It's, 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 it's paying off now. Four years ago, when Dennis Rodman walked on a basketball court, few people paid attention. Now, almost everybody is paying attention, including NBA scouts like Bill Gardner of the Washington Bullets. Rodman's story is certainly a strange one. When he graduated from high school in Dallas, he didn't even play basketball. He was only five foot eleven. In a little over a year, he shot up to six eight. Right now, it's paying off for Southeastern. Last night, Rodman poured in 28 points, just a little over his season average, to help the Savages upset 14th ranked OCC. In another year, playing basketball could pay off big and wind up making Rodman a wealthy young man. Southeastern coach Jack Hedden discovered Rodman when he saw him in a pickup game. Next year, there's a good chance he'll be watching him play with the world's finest in the NBA. In the mid-1980s, Bloomer Sullivan Gym was the place to be. In its heyday, every seat was full and standing room was just as hard to come by. All because basketball fans wanted to see Rodman and the Savages. For three seasons at Southeastern Oklahoma State, Rodman found a home for himself at Bloomer Sullivan Gym. He averaged 25 points and 15 rebounds a game, leaving no doubt that he gave it his all. He was like a kid playing a game. He loved it. You could tell the emotion. Uh, he just enjoyed playing the game, especially game time when the crowd was there. He was a spark plug to us, you know. I mean, he just had so much energy about himself. He was, he was enthusiastic about the game, there's no doubt about it. And he brought a whole new level of playing for all of us. He had natural ability and he had natural emotion. And uh, you don't see that very often. Dennis Rodman used to score a lot of points. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. If he had been in a different team, uh, if his needs were different, he could have put up more points. Gerald West led Southeastern with 24 points, but All-America Dennis Rodman hit the hook shot for two of his 19 points. He also grabbed 19 rebounds. Rodman played with a great deal of enthusiasm. Southeastern showed a great deal of balance, and the game was more physical than the Chiefs could stand. The victory put Southeastern in the national tournament next week in Kansas City. In three years with the Savages, Rodman averaged over 25 points and 15 rebounds per game and was chosen an NAIA All-American three times. I ain't coming to be a star or anything. I just came here to play ball and, and try to, you know, do my part as a player and to help the team. The worm is going to start. Lob inside to Dennis Rodman. Inside the worm, Rodman. The hook. For the hook shot. That went cream out there. Look. Worm gets the two. For others, though, the quest continued only two days later at a high school gym in Portsmouth, Virginia. The lure of a shot in the NBA, one final chance to impress the scouts, perhaps move up in the draft. You take a Dennis Rodman out of some place called Southeastern Oklahoma State, and you pit him against the guys from the Dukes and the Georgetowns. If he doesn't crack, you know he's going to get his shot in the bright lights. Basically, you're here to get your second or third round pick. You take a Dennis Rodman, who was uh, a non-entity, it now moves him at this point into the probably a second round pick.